In this video, I am going to show you guys a blue hive guide. And first, let's just start off with the hive build. So everyone knows a blue hive is filled with tadpoles and boyan bees. You want to have around 18 boyan bees and around 8 to 9 tadpole bees. Get like 10 or 11 when you uh, macro by yourself. But when you're with other people, just go with 8. Then the bees you need in your hive is obviously the gifted basic bee which gives 1.2 times pollen. You want to have the bumper bee because you will get more bump pollen that's really good for making pollen when you're a blue hive. A bumble bee for more capacity, that's really obvious. You want to have a cool bee for more blue pollen. Stubborn bee for more token lifespan so you can collect everything you want. Obviously the bubble bee because you will get more bubble pollen. Bucko bee, uh, more capacity for blue fields and you will need capacity to make honey. You can also get a commander bee, you get more crit chance, so you will do more damage and you will get more pollen. You also want to have a frosty bee for more blue bomb pollen, that's also really good. A shock bee for the white pollen and for the token link, you know, that's really good to have. You want to have a diamond bee for more convert rate, because most of the time you will just be converting your balloon. You want to have like 3 or 4 music bees, like if you have toy horn, the bee quip get three music bees but if you don't have a toy horn you can just choose for four music bees then you want to have a ninja bee a little bit movement speed and blue bomb plus which is really good for more pollen and if you like if you underfill a little bit just get shy bee for bee ability pollen then you will need a fuzzy bee gifted for the pollen haze and like everything else and obviously bomb power then for the event bees, you want to have a bear bee, like that's really obvious. A bear bee is really good. Gifted of course. A gummy bee uh, is really good to have for more honey per pollen. Of course a tabby bee. Tabby bee is really good because you've got 50% more critical power. And you can also put your fishes bee in, but if you overfill just leave it out. But if you underfill, uh, keep this in your hive because it's really good for the blue bomb plus. Alright, now let's go on to the amulet. For the Supreme Star amulet, you will need blue pollen, convert rate, pollen, critical chance, and B ability rate. And obviously, pop star. And for the rest of the amulets, you will need like blue bomb pollen and blue pollen. But I'm not going to talk about that because it's going to take a while. You just want to have blue pollen in every amulet if that's possible. And now let's go on to the macro settings. Okay, right here I have the macro. Um, do pine tree with thrift comp, of course. I think elol is the best one, so choose elol. This one needs to be M, uh, this one like 3 or 2, like just what you prefer, but I think 3 is good. Do 10 minutes until 59 or 100%, doesn't really matter. If you're already pretty end game, you can just do reset because it's uh, way faster, but if you're just mid game, choose walk. And for the sprinkler location, just upper left and then distance too. But don't forget, if um, if other people macro in your spot, just change something um, of the sprinkler location or like or like or the camera rotation, like anything. But don't stay in the same place where other people macro, because you will not gain any honey then. You can collect slash kill. You, of course, you want the clock mondo is really optional, like. You get 10% more pollen, but it just takes a while to kill it. So, do whatever you want with Mondo Chicken. For the rest, right now, you don't need anything else. For boost, you want to uh, you want to have blue field boost, which is right over there in the HQ. So you have a chance to get pine tree pollen. And right now, I have every 24 minutes, you can just lower it down if you want. But every 24 minutes, my macro clicks on one blue extract, so I will get more blue pollen when I'm gathering. So or now for planners, click on presets blue. I prefer to put this on 90, motivating on 92, satisfying on 80, and then refreshing on 70. And then click on every planner you want to plant while you're macroing. I want to plant the candy, the blue clay, and the tacky. This one is really good because the pine tree you get comforting, the sunflower for satisfying, the blue flower for refreshing. And the spider for motivating. And then do convert balloon I have every 10 minutes. And that's it for the macro settings. And for your 
And for your B-quips, you want to have around three or two Beastmas 3 hats. You want to have around two or three elf caps, like two pine cones, a charm bracelet, like a toy drum, a snow tiara, a kazoo, icicles, and a beastmas top. And for the mutations, you want to have the conferred amount, conferred rate, and B ability rate. If you don't know how to get uh, mutations, I'm gonna show you guys. Just feed one neon berry to the bee, you wanna grant a mutation. And then just feed your bitter berries until you get a mutation, so just do 50 at a time. Yeah, and as you can see, I got conferred amount, and that's really good, cause you will get more honey from that bee. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh yeah, and don't forget to join my Discord, um, yeah, bye.